This is the Doctor continuing the saga of the Rengian Guard. In the last part of our tale, we fought a camp of brigands who stabbed Beef Stew in the gut with a crossbow bolt, and Night War got his chest pierced, but it was all worth it for Seal to look fantastic in his new armor, the Manhunter's Plate Armor. Very fitting, he is a hunter of man. Uh, he's rocking this closed flat top helmet. We painted it red and uh, orange. Let's see how this works out. I'm open to flexibility here in terms of the helmet. Maybe he has to go back to the regular unpainted helmet. We haven't quite figured that out yet. Let's just try it out for a bit. And he has a shiny new hammer to go with his armor. Oh my gosh, it look, just looks so incredible. This is what the guard is going to look like. In fact, the men are clamoring to be prof officially professionals so that the nobles will hire us for juicy, lucrative contracts. And to celebrate this momentous event, we purchased some paint to color our shields. Yes, Sergey. Yes, this is the fitting shield. Perhaps not with this uh, scale armor. I don't know how good this looks. Maybe we need to put this on Rages. That might be a little better, but you know what? No matter what, I, I think Sergey has to have it. He is the shield, so. You know, we'll figure out some other armor to give him later so that it goes better with the shield. Okay. Uh, we did some haggling at Weizenmark and we went to the tavern and there were rumors that there is a beautiful sorceress off in the town we haven't found, um, Markdorf. And all the men are clamoring to go see this bewitching beauty. So you know what? Let's go off. I think it is time to reward the men with a visit uh, to Markdorf. And before we do that, though, let's hire another member to retinue. Uh, we, sh we have plenty more loot that we could sell off if necessary. And we have enough pay for at least two days, even if we hire this lookout. He will help us spot camps, spot uh, patrolling bands of brigands. Ooh, look at that. We are indeed officially professionals. We are about to reach into the nobility's deep pockets indeed. So we're a little low in terms of cash on hand, but as soon as we get some more work or uh, find another group of enemies or two to fight, we should get all, uh, make our money back. There's a small group of Noxers. We will uh, exterminate those for the good of the realm. But there is no reason to record this trivial battle as part of the saga. The Nachos were easily dispatched, although Tim did take a minor scratch on his helmet. Got some trophies from those beasts. Ooh, a trading caravan from Wagenheim. Hey, you know what? There is little reason not to loot the caravan of our ancestral enemies. And I bet this is Markdorf down there. I wonder what other opportunities exist. Perhaps we should go north and raid. It's not a terrible idea, but first I'll take care of this uh, caravan. The guard is lined up in battle formation. Every man is confident against five peasants. Why don't they just surrender? Why? Why do they make us fight? This isn't even glorious or honorable. There's no, there's no reason to this. But the men want the loot, and who am I to say no? Somehow, one of these brave caravan hands managed to bonk, um, ripping on the head with a wooden club. And then Ripley promptly, wow, you don't want to know what Rippy did to that poor caravan hand. You don't want to know. 
but it was a profitable battle. We looted a lot of bread, so you know, men, you got bread now. You got food. Oh, what is this town? It is um, Elutrum. Hmm, this is not Markdorf. Perhaps Markdorf is nearby. There's no reason not to stop here and see what's going on. Oh, is there another kennel? We could potentially purchase some more uh, hounds. Price for ammunition is very cheap. We should buy at least some of that. But I'm not sure this is the best place we should be. Okay, let's see. Count Hubert von Throff wants us to do a bit of a patrol to San Joaquin and Titlingen. That's interesting. That's about a thousand crowns. Could be worthwhile. I need something to think about this. Um, Tetlinger, these are not very far away, and if there were some camps nearby, this could be a very, very profitable business. Mm, still, a lot of the mountains here suggest it might be difficult to find a good camp or two to fight. It's not a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea. But I really want to find Markdorf. Uh, the men want to see the witches. So I won't accept this contract yet. Maybe we'll find a more tempting contract. In the meantime, perhaps we will purchase a friend for uh, Misty. Fortunately, Misty's gonna have to wait until she gets a friend. Uh, we have to spend some more money to stock up on tools. Let's keep going this direction. Perhaps uh, Markdorf is nearby here. And maybe we'll find a camp that we could go fight later. Okay, there is a stone wash tower. What is this town? Is this a castle? Okay, this must be the seat of power for House Turaf. There's no reason for us to go there right now. But does this tell us Markdor is to the north somewhere? Oh, well, since we're here, there could be a tavern. We might learn more information. No reason not to go take a look. No tavern. Doubt we could afford anything. Anything interesting in the market? The tools are a lot cheaper here. Uh, could be a good place to stock up on tools in the future. Don't really need to do that now. It could sell an item or two. Sell our bow. Sell a flail. And buy some tools. It's not a bad idea, honestly. We'll get more flails. Alright. Let's try to find Markdorf without going into the swamps. Hmm, so many tempting choices for our next ambition. We are fighting other mercenary companies, but it's unknown when we'll come across another one. We've already proven that we are the strongest. We've defeated other mercenary companies before. We could hunt some beasts and make some pelts. We definitely want that for um, our men. They do need to look beautiful. But who knows how long it'll take to do that. Orcs? Might be able to find some orcs to kill pretty quickly. It's not a bad idea. Yes, we'll go kill some orcs. We're the strongest. Alright, well, we still haven't found Markdorf. They've got to be nearby, though. But since we are out here, might as well go take a look at this uh, Runes of Furin. Need to try to find Markdor soon because there are witches there. Wow, we gotta go, like, meet the witches. That's so important. Alright, this location is in the swamp. Could be brigands, or could be other monstrosities uh, hiding in there. Oh, Beef Stew, you leveled up, buddy. Learn how to hit. Alright, let's go into the swamp 
after a bit of reorganization. Alright, we've reorganized the men. Uh, there may be brigands, and they may shoot at us with their archery nonsense. So, why don't we actually put Rippy in the front? And Tech Fiend and Mystery will likely both get shot up. In fact, Mystery, why don't you learn Mystery? Learn how to use the old crossbow. So our heavily armored shooted brothers are on the front. Then we have some reserves in the back. Let's see how this goes. Beef Stew won't be coming on this fight. He is um it's not a good idea to send Beef Stew into a unknown group of enemies. This could be a Ooh, I hear the Undead could be a necromancer. Let's see what happens. Got a couple of zombies coming up. Ooh, and a fallen hero. Hmm, that seems like a target for Rippy and Seal. Or Sergey could just defend forever. A lot of options here. We could move up and attempt to shoot at the Necromancer. It's probably not going to be effective. Um, there's a... Yes, okay, I know where... There is definitely a Necromancer. He's being protected by this zombie with the shield. Moving up is not a bad idea. Oh, where is the necromancer? It's odd. Alright, Tech Ping shoots and a miss. Need someone like Ivan over there. Hold the ground, buddy. Hold the line. Mystery. Take a shot. Tim. Got a sword. You also have Pathfinder. Maybe you could sneak around the flanks. I'll put Night Warg in the middle. Rippy goes up. Sergey comes up. And Seal get ready to bash out Fallen Heroing. Yes, okay. The Necromancer's all the way on the other side. According to our scouts, there are 13 enemies. Toto. So that's five. That's five. There's only one more. Maybe we can actually get the Necromancer. We'll see. Send somebody around to flank, perhaps. Ivan, um, defend yourself for now. Could be relevant. Tim, maybe we send you along the other side, I'm thinking. Yes. We didn't know where the Necromancer was. Uh, Apple, you might get hit a few times, but that is what it is. You got armor, buddy. You'll be all right. Might need to unequip your shield, Rippy. We'll see. We'll see what they do. They just swap to your spear. Unlike the double stab right here. Oh, yep. Apple dodges a blow from the possessed zombie. Well done, buddy. The zombies are shuffling forward in the swamp. As... The bodyguards are moving back. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Move up. Hit. Good. Low settings. Stab right in the face of that zombie. Good job, buddy. Okay. This could be a dangerous situation. Tech Fiend. Reload your crossbow. Shoot. Ivan. Keep holding your ground. Ow. 
Apple? Yes, decapitates Ooh. a zombie. It can't get back up. These necromancers, they are dark magicians. They know how to manipulate life energies and resurrect a dead and so forth, but they can't resurrect someone who's been decapitated. Night Warg, your position seems quite good to me. Mystery, I don't like where you are. Why don't you reload and just take a step back? You don't even need to shoot. Rippy, bash it, that thing's heading. It's fallen here, I'm thinking Sergey can deal with it. So Rippy, why don't you unequip your shield? You won't need it. Seal, you have very heavy armor. You can take a tremendous amount of punishment, but why not let Sergey the shield do, do the hard work? You just stand, stand back, buddy. Stand back. Sergey, defend yourself. Use the tree next to you as cover. Aya? You know, let's not kill it just yet. Let's see what happens next. Sergey, good job blocking. I'm gonna keep sending Tim around for the flank. Let's see what the rest of the zombies do. Ah, yes, I was a little afraid of that. Well, there's little reason for Rippy not to kill there. Ooh, you bashed its sculling, so it won't be able to resurrect. Uh, some of our brothers might take a hit or two from this zombie. Uh, he's got an axe. Could hurt, but we have our axes and we'll counterattack soon enough. Yeah, I want to know what the rest of the zombies do. Ooh, Aya! Yes! Your helmet protects you from that puny zombie's axe. Rageous. You do not have Pathfinder, do you? No. So going for the flank might not be advisable. Let's see what the rest of these clowns do. No rush. Okay. Aya, swing your axe. Low settings. Do the same with your pike. Night work. Good work, buddy. Ooh. Apple could take a lot of a lot of damage here. Perhaps Ivan, you can come up and distract the thing. Might target you. You never know. Rippy, bash. Tech fiend. You don't want to get caught. You just reload and step sideways a little bit mystery you can bust out your pike and stab the zombie good work buddy i don't see any reason for seal to move up well sergey's got both of these uh distracted so seal why don't you just move over make sure nothing weird happens okay apple you're not gonna kill the possessed one but you can at least kill the other one and start doing low damage Ranges, come up, stab away. Sergey, just defend. Well done, Aya. Good kill. All right, uh, Apo, your armor is going to take a lot of hits, but you should be okay. Your helmet protects you. Yeah, he's got a weak spear. You're fine, buddy. You're fine. All right, let's keep moving Tim up for the flank. Oh, the necromancer possesses the fallen hero. This is a problem. Rippy bashes a zombie. It's hitting. Uh, Sergey is good, but he's not. He's not invincible. We need to get on that necromancer. Ooh, Sergey, buddy, you're. You're panicking because a night warg's not there to cheer you up. All right, that's that's my bad. That's my bad, buddy. Rageous, stab, defend. All right, Sergey. 
Let the world know what you're made of. Okay, lock. Okay, you got hit twice and you're breaking, but you did not panic. You did not actually panic and the necromancer's got himself into a very, very good position. I'm thinking we need to go aggressive and kill this fallen hero. Alright, so good job bashing that one's sculling. Don't want seal hit, but there's not much of a choice here. We need to... Seal's armor can take it. And Sergei needs to not panic above all else. If we go quick, what would that accomplish? Not much. Ivan, you're not really a damage dealer. Mystery over. Tech Fiend, buddy. You could do some work. Okay. Let's see what the rest of these zombies do. Keep moving Tim over. All right, we might take a lot of hits here, but it's not over. Actually, might need Rippy here to um, help out. Yeah, all right, let's move Night Warg over at least one. Make sure Sergei's getting the buff, but I'm not going to rally in case he does panic. These uh, Fallen Heroes are very dangerous, so... You may need to rally. We'll see. Ivan, why don't you wait? All right, Sergey blocks a hit from the basic zombie. That's good. Let's uh, free up some pressure here. Tech fiend, bust out your drawing weapons. All right, yeah, wrecking armor. That's good. Well done, Seal. Well done. I don't see any reason that you need to go quick yet. All right, Rageous, what can you do? You can come up. And Apple, what can you do? You're a Pathfinder. Why don't you go up as well? All right, this is the moment of truth, Sergey. The moment of truth. You don't have your shield wall up. There's no reason for you not to take a stab. And then, you know what? Just in case you panic, I'm going to... And, okay, and you, you turn. All right, Seal takes two big hits in his armor. Um, it's still, it's holding, but could be better. Could be better. Let's. Ooh, I was a little afraid of something like that. Aya is in some trouble. But we should be able to get on the Necromancer the next turn. Aya! Ah, ah! His armor is gone. Okay, okay. Tim is very quick. We got the Necromancer. We'll be all right. Let's um, let's move some help up to Aya. Oh, you're too exhausted. You might take an injury here, buddy. All right. Um, in fact, Tim, why don't you move here to make sure you can't get bashed away? Good, good work, Tim. And then Rippy comes up, goes for the stun. It might go quick. All right, Necromancer is dealt with, and but we need the Operation Save Aya. All right, mystery. Stab the fallen hero. Good. Tech Fiend. Let's let Seal attack first. Night Warg. Uh, I think we'll be all right down there. Let's move Night Warg up. Rageous. You got some throwing weapons. That could save Aya's life. Oh, Aya! His shoulder. He's got an injured shoulder now. 
Okay, it's okay. Nobody panic. You'll be all right. Our men are getting hit a lot, but this is the nature of the problem. Tech Fane, chuck your javelins. Apple, why don't you get ready to go where Aya is? All right, Aya, or low settings. Yes, okay, that kill literally saved Aya's life. Aya, why don't you come back and take a break from the battle? Uh, Tim, you could defend. What's the point? Just kill the necromancer. And Ivan, you can stab. Mystery, good stab. Night Warg, good stab as well. Ooh! I did not anticipate that Sergei would flee. Why did that break him when nothing else did? It's kind of disappointing, buddy. Tech Fiend? Oh, you're out of javelins. But you have a crossbow bolt, but you missed. That's all right, buddy. Rages, swap to your spear. Move up, stab at the necromancer. Ooh, well done, Seal. Well done with your hammer. Uh, Sergei might take a hit or two from this zombie as he flees, but it's not a big deal. Ow. Very rude zombie. All right, low settings, take down the Necromancer, and this battle is over. Certainly not the cleanest battle. Cer a lot closer than it should have been. Aya took an injury to the shoulder. Seo's armor got dinged up. Tim's armor even got basically destroyed, and Sergei, his performance, a little lackluster this time around, but we looted a golden chalice and an ornate tome, both of which are probably worth a lot of money to um, collectors in these southern towns. Aya, you're gonna have to take a break again, buddy. And Tim, your armor's uh, dinged up, so you're gonna have to take a break too. Sergey, ooh. Swap to the operator armor. And Seal, congratulations. Um, you could learn how to use your armor even more, but it might be worth for you. Your heavy armor is going to protect you very well, even, uh, even if you're not a master of it. You might want to be a true Northman and go berserk. That might be the way to go. But we don't have to decide that just yet. Let's, um, let's let Aya rest for a battle or two. Let's go out of the swamp. These swamps are always rough. Let's try to find Markdorf so we can meet the sorceress. All right, still can't find Markdorf. It must be in this uh, middle part of the map. The one re we should have gone north if we knew that. Maybe we won't be able to find that sorceress after all. Uh, disappointing if that's true, but since we are here near Wagenheim, even though it's our ancestral enemies, a group of brigands have set up camp, including one of their leaders. And yeah, brigands are the enemy of all, but mostly the men just wants to leave the camp. So who am I to say no? La, so uh, CO, you're gonna actually learn how to berserk, buddy. Uh, you can learn how to use your heavy armor later. For now, just just. Um, the ability for you to swing your hammer one extra time or two extra times per battle could be the difference between an injury uh, or, you know, a group of dead brigands. Uh, I've swapped Rages and Sergei's armor around because there's a leader. Sergei's going to need to get on that. Rages, your armor is a little lighter than usual, but that just means you can check more javelins. So you should be all right, buddy. You should be all right. Otherwise, Apple and Von Salitz uh, swap their weapons again. I suppose Apple could continue to use an axe uh, as a true Northman should. You know, he could also keep a sword in the pocket. There are a lot of options here. Uh, got some crossbows, a javelin. Uh, they only have the one marksman, so we might be able to trick them into attacking us. We'll see.
Ooh, okay. They've got the crossbowmen. And we might not be able to trick them after all. There's only nine of them. Let's see what they do. Got javelins and so forth. Do not have any good shots, but maybe we can make something of this hill here. In order for the marksman to shoot us, he has to come out. So let's try the old bait the brigands strategy. Uh, like clockwork, these brigands just can't help but fall for the trap. Mystery. Ooh, shoot him right in the guts. Yes, revenge. Revenge for beef stew. Well done, mystery. All right, tech fiend, can you finish him off? Yes, well done, Tech Fiend. This is what it means to be professional mercenaries. Tricking the brigands, uh, throwing them out of their fort, and now their archer is dead, and the remaining brigands will soon follow. Unfortunately, the chaos of battle uh, rages took a misstep, and now the brigands are on him. So we're going to have to attack soon not just yet though not just yet all right mystery what can you do oh. yes cripple that brigand with your crossbow right in the hand buddy step back sergey why don't you Ooh, okay why don't you taunt this leader to distract him and Tim come down use your flail uh, flail is good against this brigand on the low ground some more of them will have to get on the low ground so Apple you can quite safely come here wait is that oh whoops that's not a um, not enough elevation okay well that is a problem Fool has a pierced hand. Rippy, you can come up and deal with him. Ivan can get this high ground here. Rages, why don't you swap to your spear, stab, injure his shoulder. Well done, buddy. Well done. Low settings. Let's get you into a good position. On Salitz. You got a basic knife. So you may not be the best at stabbing me, Jar, Edmund there. Why don't you uh, get ready? You're our reserve, brother. Yes, Tech Queen, come down. Throw your javelin. Good kill, good kill. Put Seal here. I haven't quite figured out what we're going to do with him yet. Okay, we need to keep moving Apple. Night Warg. Ah, okay, Tim getting hit a little bit in the helmet. That's okay. Ooh, big swing from the Brigand. Tim getting... Bash a little bit. Okay, okay. Low settings. Stab. You step back up. All right, the brigands are still not having a fun time. I've been could come here, but that would put him in some danger. Tim, we haven't quite figured out what to do with you yet. More rageous. Hmm.
We could just come down and smash the brigand leader. But kind of want that armor. Well done, Rippy. You are just as skilled of a warrior as always. Still, Tim is in some danger here. Perhaps we ought to bash Mijar Edmund back. Protect Tim. Tim is definitely in quite some danger. He's tough, but he's not invincible. I don't have to decide that yet. Okay. Tech Fiend. Chuck your javelins. Yes, yes. Pierce the leg muscles of this raider. That helps a lot. On Sadlitz, you could come down and not really accomplish anything. Mm. Let's move Ivan up. Try to panic. No such luck. All right, Tim. Did Rages move yet? No. Okay, Rages can deal with the other one. Tim, why don't you bust out your dagger? Stab at Mijar Edmund, and then do a basic stab on the other brigand. Ooh, Rages, you didn't get him. You didn't get him, which is a problem. Apple, move up, try to panic. No such luck. Mystery, why don't you move up? Ooh, you missed your crossbow shot. That is very bad. Thinking we do need a shield bash, Mijar Edmund. Or we just smash him. Ah, I can't smash him. What are you talking about? Try to panic him a little bit more. No such luck. All right, Sergey, you're potentially going to be in some trouble. Let's move those settings over. Stab at the raider here. Try to cause some problems. Okay. Um, rotation like that is actually great for us. Yep, I know, I know Mijar Edmund. He's gonna do that nonsense, but our armor is heavy. We can take it. On Salitz, you can come one on one this raider on the low ground. Yes, Apple, yes. Let's move up and cause some panics. We'll put Ivan here. And as the brigands flee, we can cut them down. Tech Fiend. What can you do? You're gonna wait for Mystery to reload his crossbow, sh shoot the brigand with the scary looking sword. And Rages can get on the brigand leader soon. Not just yet, though. Sergey. Alright, buddy, you're alright. Seal, get up there. Yes! Seal Norman, with his little knife, managed to panic the leader of the brigands. This battle is over. Not the cleanest fight because, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, not Sergey, but Rippy, or not Rippy, what am I saying? Rages got himself trapped in a bad position. We had to rush down the hill to save him. But at least Mystery and um, Tech Fiend did a great job with their crossbows, killing that marksman. In fact, I want to say Tech Fiend has got to be MVP this battle, right? Killing the marksman uh, with your cro uh, crossbow, then busting out the drawing uh, javelins to kill a brigand. Uh, two brigands, in fact. So well done, buddy. Well done. Got the armor from the leader, although it's kind of dinged up. Barely even scratched it for our daggers. Don't know why it's so dinged up, but it is what it is. Nice assortment of weapons. 
Um, got a red hat. It's a lot of potential in all this gear. But now I think it's time for us to head south and try to find Markdorf before it's too late. Uh, but that will have to wait until the next part of the saga. Thank you for watching. Until next time.